I found the Squirrel Plays um, when I was a student at Northwestern University and the playwright invited me to uh, a workshop of Infestation, the first play, and the Squirrel Plays and Compensation, the second play. And I thought they were so unusual and interesting um, and funny, most importantly. And so I kept thinking about them. And then a couple years later, when I was over in London for the first time, I wanted to put on a play. I immediately thought of that. The Squirrel Plays are comprised of two companion plays, Infestation and Compensation. Uh, in Infestation, we meet a young couple, Tom and Sarah, and they're buying their house. But the only thing you need to know about them is that they are not squirrel people. Not that they judge, but they are not squirrel people. So when they reach this house, of course what happens is there is a squirrel living in the attic. Um, Tom is repulsed by it, he wants nothing to do with it, but Sarah starts to grow attached. Ultimately, they decide together to exterminate the squirrel, but it's a really difficult decision and they come to it through different means and it tests their marriage. My name is Amy Reitzman and I'm playing the character of Sarah, who is also the wife in the play. She is a lawyer. She is a successful woman. I believe she is the breadwinner in the family and she loved the idea of nurturing and keeping things beautiful. She's not a huge fan of the idea of having anything beyond her garden and her husband to take care of. I think probably because her career is so demanding. But she, I think, is a very, very good image of what a lot of young women are right now. I mean, I know it's a question for me personally. It's something that I'm kind of grappling with right now, and I know a lot of my friends are also grappling with it. Like, do you chase the career, or do you do you have the other family? It's very difficult to do both, but you're expected to in modern society. So it's, yeah, it's an interesting one. Tom very clearly doesn't like squirrels from the offset, and that his opinion doesn't necessarily change but his eyes are opened to um, other people who struggle with squirrels. He becomes quite community-minded in that he wants the issue of squirrels to be shared within the neighborhood as a whole. It becomes a question of whether they should keep the squirrel, um, how to get rid of the squirrel, who pays to have the squirrels removed uh, from their lives and who the owners should fall on, whether it is the couple themselves or whether it is the community as a whole. Uh, and just raises a lot of interesting questions in that respect. Squirrels, at a base level, are children. They're, they stand in for children in the play. But what I really love about the play is that it's not a one-to-one -one analogy. It's not squirrels are children everywhere in the play. They come to symbolize race, class, poverty, um, life choices, really. The choices that women make are all kind of imbued onto this squirrel. So we're using a lot of uh, physical theater uh, in the squirrel plays to create the set. Rather than having a traditional set, we are creating um, tables, dishwashers, beds out of actors' bodies and props. We did Infestation the first time at the Space Theater in London. Um, we did a much more naturalistic set and that really brought out um, the drama of the husband and wife's relationship. But what I found from doing some workshops with the more um, absurd and physical elements is that suddenly the humor of the play opens up for the audiences. And because there is someone on stage talking to a miniature house or there's people on stage creating a, a staircase, there is more freedom to see the absurd and the situation. I mean, we are going with like a really, really minimal set, but there's also this whole thing about the house as the body and who owns the body and who makes decisions about how the house is used and what do the neighbors think when they come to visit your house and how much of yourself do you put in the house? Um, and so to create that environment with actual human bodies, I think just kind of ties all of that together in a way that, um, that hammers at home a lot more than just putting out a table and being like, well, it's a table, it's wood. Instead, you have a person and it's their back and how are people touching their back? How do you feel about that? It's a, it's a fun challenge to think, how can I be a staircase? How does my body move in a way that I can be a staircase? What is an attic? I think that anyone who comes to see this, regardless of how much knowledge they have about the situation in the States with the healthcare system and everything, I think that people would absolutely benefit from seeing this. So it is for someone who likes hard-hitting topics, but in a fun way, and who wants to engage with that. It's a sensitive subject. 
So to approach it from a, from a lighter side is, is I think very clever and to use sort of the scroll metaphor is, is a lot of fun. <laughs>